Plot thickens surrounding a Norfolk landlord accused of offering to exchange sexual favors with his tenants in place of the rent. Last night we broke the news about Camillo Delfinado, and today we found out he's a long list of charges that date back 12 years. Then in your size, Nita Blanton joins us now from the newsroom with this new information. Nita? Yeah, Tom, I'll break down that criminal history for everybody in a minute. But today, Camilo Delfinado's arraignment on his latest charges, two felonies and two misdemeanors, was continued. And while he's waiting to go before a judge, we've been doing some digging and finding that history of similar complaints. Allegations like this are disturbing at best. He wait till the men leave. He applaud, sit at the corner. Wait till all the men leave and come back and sexually harass you. Now we know that prior to 71 year old Camilo Delfinado's arrest Tuesday evening, he was arrested and charged with sexual battery six other times between 2002 and 2010. Tonight, he's charged with abduction, extortion of money for immoral purposes, attempted to defile, attempted rape, and two counts of sexual battery. His tenant, Kenyatta Van, caught him on camera. And I'm up against the counter and he's still lifting up my dress. Others in this neighborhood say they're grateful the new charges have come forward and hope that this time they stick. We just discussed it between each other. Yeah, we did. We did. We just discussed it till it got to the point where he's doing it to too many people, the same behavior. But how widespread could this be? Today we found that Camilo Delfinado has dozens of tenants throughout Hampton Roads. We researched 25 properties that he owns and in most cases rents out through one of his two LLCs in Norfolk alone. Six more in Suffolk, two in Portsmouth, two in Virginia Beach, and one in Chesapeake. If you go with what he say, the rent is covered, you know, and then a lot of times if you don't go his way, then you're being evicted. Mark Murphy says that fear has kept many silent before. Sometimes when you're in that position, you, you, you kind of mindful, oh, he can pull the trigger on us any time and we'll lose what we got and we got to keep shelter for our kids. In 2003, 2004, and 2010, we know the sexual battery cases against Delfinado were all dismissed. There are many waiting to see if that'll happen again. And we don't yet know why those three previous charges were dismissed or what happened to the other three previous cases against Mr. Delfinato, but you can be sure we're working to find out. His arraignment has been rescheduled for the 28th, and we'll continue to follow this story all the way through. For now in the newsroom, Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.